So, what are you doing in SF? Where are you? What do you do? I just quit my job. I did the referral. <laughs> okay, and okay. That's all history. Of it. I work at AWS, and I'm a professional services consultant. I didn't really know what computer science was about. If you have some bullies at the office. My parents were in tech. I think you're a designer as well, right? YouTube channel, like we're all, we're all designers in a way. Hey, what's up? Today I'm in San Francisco asking software engineers why they became software engineers and if they have any advice to share. Thanks to Spatial Chat for sponsoring this video. All right, what's your name? David. I'm Jason. I'm Martin. Darso. Abdul. Miguel. Mustafa. Nice to meet you. Mustafa and? Ash. Ash. Hey, okay, I'm Viraj. Viraj? Yeah. And? Jeremy. Jeremy? So, what are you doing in SF? Where are you? What do you do? Uh, I work at Asana. Oh, damn, that's a dope company. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty great. My friend interviewed there, but they asked him a bunch of, uh, like, concurrency stuff, and he couldn't solve them. <laughs> yeah, um, man, it's, uh, interviews are like that sometimes. I was full stack engineer. Full stack engineer. Okay, well, yeah, I work at Intel. Intel, cool, yeah. cool, cool. I work at AWS, and I'm a professional services consultant. I'm basically a software engineer, but for as a consultant. Okay, okay. It's hard out. I'm a founding engineer on like a fintech company that's installed right now. I did a few internships at Shopify before this, and then okay. um, I decided I wanted to take the startup route. So talked to a few friends um, and was exploring this idea with a friend. He was also an investor. He's like, come work on this full time, and that's how it sort of started. So I work in venture capital. Uh, I'm originally from New York, but I come out here because my main office is out here. Yes. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. You said you were barely in tech. What does that mean? Uh, I'm just not working right now. I was working two weeks ago, and I just quit my job. So wait, tell me that's... about that. Where were you working? And... My last company before that was they were acquired by Amazon at a certain point. Okay. Are you a software engineer? Uh, not actually. I'm into uh, the sales part of it. So you said you do e-commerce. What does that mean exactly? It means I source products from overseas and I sell them in my store or other platforms. What do you sell? It's boxing gloves. Yeah, so boxing I, gloves? Yeah, I've been boxing all my life and uh, yeah, I started selling boxing gloves. But it's somewhat of a niche. So I got into a niche and it sells pretty good. Yes. Yeah, no so way! If you, ever, if you have some bullies at the office. I, I'm Ash. I'm a designer. Oh, nice! Yeah. Have you always been a designer? Uh, yeah, more or less. Like, okay. I, I think it's. I think you're a designer as well, right? YouTube channel. Like, we're all, we're all designers in a way. What do you do? Auditor. I think for. Okay. Well, I actually haven't done my taxes yet, but it's October fifteenth is the. Well, I don't do taxes. Oh you, oh, you don't do taxes. I do audit. Audit. Okay, okay, got it. How'd you get into tech? Uh, honestly, it was in college. Okay. Like, I when I went got into college, I. I wanted to do engineering. I didn't really know what computer science was about because I just started like learning more about it. I really enjoyed that kind of work where you can build something and see it live like mm. really quickly. Um, I started out in investment banking and then after investment banking, I uh, kind of worked in tech for a little bit at MasterCard and then moved into venture capital. So when I was 14, my one of my friends uh, introduced me to like coding and then from there, I started like building really small websites, and then okay. in Canada we have like a Craigslist similar called Kijiji. Okay. So I'd go out like on Kijiji and then find people that are looking for like webs people to build websites for, uh -huh. and then undercut every like creative agency and then just offer like cheap services. Built a portfolio and then started cold emailing. I started at like the girls who code stuff. Okay, like, nice. In high school. Yeah. Um, and my mom was software, so I was like, oh, if she can do it, I can do it. Okay. So that's kind of, I just joined it um, like as a major, uh -huh. kind of randomly, and then it ended up being hard, but somehow rewarding, and then I got a good job in it, and now I really like it, actually. Um, My parents were in tech, and uh, honestly speaking, I didn't know what I wanted to do before I went to college, mm. and they made me think about like the fact that like they had so much flexibility and like the ease of life mm. being in that industry. Yeah. Um, I think it's because like my parents, mm -hmm. they always wanted me to have a stable job. An yeah. accountant is obviously like a stable job. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everyone needs an accountant. So. Sure. Got it. I had some good college classes uh, that did computer science, and I never thought I'd do computer science. Mm -hmm. You know, in high school, you're always like, no, it was like felt like the people who like had parents who were like math professors or yeah. like was always like doing robotics or whatever and I never felt like I was like part of that group. Yeah, the high school or the college classes I had were super inclusive and fun. And, yeah. Um, so that's how I got into it. I, w I wanted to come to San Francisco for a while and I had a, a relative that was working over here. They did the referral okay, <laughs> and okay. that's all history. Of it. What advice would you give people trying to break into tech? I think the hardest part is actually just putting in the effort. Okay. Because there's so many distractions and I think it's easier than ever before to initially get into tech because there's so many resources. Yeah. So it's just actually being like very disciplined about the direction you want to go and like learning and actually putting in the effort. Yeah. 
I think is, 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 is that and then also just networking with people and then building. I think the biggest thing that's helped me is like build projects, launch it mm. on Twitter, product hunt, get feedback. I mean, honestly, I think part of getting into tech is like persistence. Yeah. Um, a lot of times people might not do so at the start, they get afraid and decide it's not for them. So it's really like stick with it for a while. There's a lot of online resources, like especially today more than ever. So there's like a huge community of people around you to like learn. Remind yourself that you're capable and you can do it. Mm. Even if you feel like people think you can't do it or if you can't do it, like things are hard sometimes and that's fine. You just gotta, just gotta wow. commit to it. Yeah. Nice. I think for me it's like kind of speak up for yourself because I know working in a big four can be really toxic because I've been in like toxic teams where I have to speak up like in front of my managers from like like upper heads like to kind of express my opinions or certain things mm. where I'm like not feeling comfortable with doing yeah and like it's just that's a bigger thing like don't force it out to do things that like you don't want to do yeah and just express like how you like how you're feeling nice well Wait, appreciate it I, I have another one too sorry yeah if you're in tech specifically um, don't be afraid to like show that you have personality and that you have things beyond like hard skills like actual coding technical skills um, and like don't be afraid to capitalize on that because I feel like a lot of that is like stereotypically and even truthfully lacking in like CS areas you know like mm. people you can be a really good coder but if you're bad at collaborating and communicating you're not like that valuable anymore you work on your social skills it's honestly more relevant than the coding skills are to tech nice which I feel like people don't know Awesome. One major part of software engineering is collaboration, and there is no better option than Spatial Chat, where remote teams work together to deliver amazing results. No matter where you are, stand up, all hands, or a one-on-one -on -one meeting, Spatial Chat gets the job done with all the apps you love. Here's how it works. There are three main rooms in Spatial Chat. Workplace for co-working, stage for presentations, and breakout just for communicating. Let me walk you through each one. Workplace is a room for synchronous co-working. It provides an experience centered around a zoomable canvas and the possibility to use and record multiple simultaneous whiteboards while communicating with teammates and creating products. Next, we have the stage room, where teams can deliver remarkable presentations, share ultimate moments, and bond. And finally, we have the breakout room, a place with proximity sound functions. So just like in real life, when you get close to someone, you can start a conversation. It truly is the metaverse. All the rooms are awesome, but my favorite is the workplace, mostly because you can do so much. You can decorate the room to bring it to life and then integrate a bunch of external tools like a Miro whiteboard, Google Docs and spreadsheets, and even YouTube videos. With your entire team, you can do everything from brainstorming to full-fledged product work. Get started with Spatial Chat today with my special link in the description. Now, let's get back to some interviews. What's your favorite and least favorite part of Venture? Uh, my favorite part of Venture is meeting all the founders, like getting to talk like the most innovative people in the world. Uh, I guess least favorite part of venture, that's honestly tough. I, I, I've only been in it for like about a month now, so okay. no least favorite part as of now. <laughs> nice. Well, didn't tell your first job out of college? Yeah, I started um, interning there my sophomore year of college. And oh, then nice. Full throughout the year and not a summer internship, but just like yearly. I worked there um, and then I graduated. I got a job there and then I recently switched teams within the company, which is nice. really easy and really nice. Actually, Have you heard much about you, that? bro. Uh, there you go. You. you hold it, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about tech? So I think tech is cool, but I think a lot of people do it for the wrong reasons. It's super cliche. I think a lot of people do yeah, it money, because money yeah, money and yeah, it's yeah, like for sure. that much. That yeah, which which is fine. But I think a lot of people get in thinking that it will just be fun and games and they get all the big bucks, but then they hate it. So yeah, I feel like I you need like to have that. some sort of interest in something. Balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you have to love all, coding. Then, yeah. So yeah. I think, but otherwise, I think tech is one of the best careers. I, it gives you a lot of flexibility. What? <laughs>